كمواطن مصري حقيقة أنا والحقيقة موجود وبصحبة زملائي الوزراء معي سبع وزراء من الحكومة بالإضافة إلى رئيس الهيئة الاقتصادية لتنمية قناة السويس وطبعا بنشرف بوجود محافظ في ضيافة محافظ شمال سيناء وقيادة الجيش الثاني الميداني للقوات المسلحة المصرية الحقيقة النهاردة الزيارة كانت زيارة جميلة جدا احنا الحقيقة تفقدنا مناطق كثيرة جدا داخل محافظة شمال سيناء بدءا من رفح ومرورا بالشيخ زويد ونهاية بالعريش والحقيقة يمكن قبل ما اشرح حجم الاعمال والمشروعات التنموية اللي احنا تفقدناها انا حابب بس اقول للمواطن المصري عشان يعرف يعني عظمة التضحية اللي تمت عشان احنا نبقى موجودين النهاردة في هذه الزيارة ونبقى واقفين وبمنتهى الامان وبنتحرك في الطرق والميادين ان هناك الاف من الشهداء من قواتنا المسلحة والشرطة والمدنيين اللي ضحوا بحياتهم على كل متر من الامطار اللي احنا كنا بنتحرك عليها النهاردة في طريقنا علشان نبقى احنا النهاردة موجودين وحركة التنمية اللي احنا بنشهدها النهاردة واللي, واللي بدأت واللي أطلقها فخامة الرئيس عبد الفتاح السيسي لشمال سينا وتنمية سينا كلها تبقى بتحصل على الأرض الحقيقة المنظر ويعني شيء يدعو للفخر ان احنا واحنا بنتحرك احنا شايفين على امتداد الطريق أثار اللي كان يعني الهجمات الإرهاب البغيض اللي كانت بتحصل سواء على منشآت حكومية أو على كمائن كانت تبع لقوات المسلحة أو الشرطة وبنشوف أثار الإطلاق الرصاص اللي موجود على واجهات المباني واللي كانت اللي بيحصل في هذا الوقت الحمد لله النهاردة إحنا بنتحرك يعني بمنتهى السهولة واليسر وصلنا لرفح ورجعنا منها للشيخ زويد والعريش رفح and we passed over the Sheikh Zweyed It's a very clear message sent by the Egyptian state with all its uh, institutions We succeeded in cleansing Sinai and to eliminate all traces of terrorism in the peninsula Now the tour today was in Rafah, whether the old one or the new one. We are speaking about 10,000 housing units to be built in the new Rafah city. What we inspected today, it is the very first phase We saw already 1,400 housing units. This was only the start. All the housing units were built on the highest levels and the, I would here like to thank the Armed Forces Engineering Authority for all its activities on the ground. Also, we inspected the um, stations, the uh, transferring stations, all built by the Armed Forces Engineering Authority. Also, we moved to El Arish city. We inspected a big number of uh, projects there. Eleven colleges in its university, 7,300 students. I was really happy with the youth I met there. They are studying on the highest levels. The highest levels of educational services are introduced to them. In North Sinai alone, there are five universities, whether public universities or uh, state universities and this is to reflect uh, at what extent the state is really keen to introduce the best educational service to uh, uh, its students and to the court in North Sinai the building there was already 
there. We inspected the, its uh, renovation. It's going to, to enter duty in the very um, few coming days. I'd like just to tell people who do not know that all the families, all people in Egypt, we sacrificed all these sects sacrificed. Many citizens, they did not. Um, if you don't know that uh, the uh, young brother of uh, the Minister of Justice was here in, in North Sinai, unfortunately he was a judge and he fell martyred here. This is a very strong message to all Egyptians. Egypt will never forget the sacrifices of its sons. And this is something which we really see and witness all over Egypt. You would find um, the streets in Egypt carrying the names of uh, the martyrs just to let the families know that Egypt will never forget the sacrifices of its sons. Also, we inspected the port of El Arish. It was only 50 fadans, but President Abdel Fattah al Sisi um, instructed to have uh, this uh, comprehensive renovation and modernization in this uh, place. So, uh, 540 fadans were added to this port and on uh, this vast um, areas. Already, we accomplished about 50% of the renovation work of this port. It was only used for fishing and for exporting salt, but now the case is totally different. We export all the productions and, and all the industries, all the products, uh, products pro produced here or manufactured in North Sinai from 7 meters to 13 meters, also the logistics zones. This is going to be a real uh, renaissance, uh, introducing huge numbers of job opportunities to the youth in North Sinai and in Al Arish in specific. Also, we inspected the hospital in uh, Al Arish. I also witnessed myself and inspected myself all the renovation work and all the services introduced to the citizens here. We are keen to raise the standard of the services to, to make it equal uh, the, uh, in, uh, the quality of services introduced to the citizen nationwide. Also, I inspected uh, the uh, housing units and housing projects here in North Sinai and in Al Arish to raise the performance and to to build uh, the um, housing uh, projects, the cooperative project of housing, and this is to serve the citizens here, the residents here. Very important, uh, two very important projects we inspected today, and they entered the phase of uh, activation according to the presidential directives. In El Masaid, we inspected the, the um, electricity station to generate electricity. It's not only for El Arish, it's not serving only El Arish, but to North Sinai in general and the energy or uh, the power. It's going to be 350 megawatts. It's going also to be raised to 700 megawatts, meaning that we are speaking about uh, a, a huge station. It's not only to generate electricity to a certain part, but this is the real comprehensive development to be witnessed on the ground to serve agriculture industrial uh, projects, uh, all for the best interest of the government rate. Also the desalination station, this is a very huge project. Uh, this station um, covered 300,000 meters, but to know the volume of uh, the station, it's going to serve um, half million uh, residents. It's, it already started, we already started ex its experimental activation. Today, we continue with the, these stages because uh, we work for the future projects to be implemented on the ground in the very near future, inshallah. We also witnessed uh, the markets um, in, 
Held by North of Sinai government rates, we are speaking about uh, very huge development projects. So we invest uh, tens of uh, billions of Egyptian pounds all over Sinai to achieve this goal, which is sustainable real uh, development in respect for the sacrifices of the uh, Egypt sons in Sinai. This uh, valuable, precious part of Egypt. Also, we are implementing the presidential directives uh, that fighting terrorism is a process going on in parallel with the development process. We were fighting terrorism and in the same time, we have not stopped uh, implementing the developmental projects on the ground. It was very uh, normal or logic just to fight terrorism first and then to start uh, the development process, but we did both in parallel, both hand in hand. It was going to be much more expensive. So the message today is that we executed these projects, we finished these projects on the ground. Once again, I'd like to stop and to tackle a very important point, something to be directed to all the Egyptians. I thank all the troops, all the personnel of our security personnel, whether from the army or from the police in North Sinai and, in all, and all over Egypt, those who fell martyred, those who sacrificed their souls for the sake of the country, for the sake of Egypt, without them, we would never be able just to stand here and to, um, to witness all these developmental projects on the ground. And also speaking about the economic situation, the Central Bank of Egypt and with the full support from the state in the past few days, we started very serious steps to control the financial policies and to achieve balance on the ground regarding the hard currency. This is a very important step to be taken by the state. We cannot speak about uh, the investment and about the development without taking this into consideration. So the decision, the very vital, important decision which was taken to stop this issue, to stop the issue and to, have, uh, to let the uh, central bank take all the decisions important to fight this or to end this phenomenon. In the same time, to be able to achieve this on the ground and to push the developmental process um, forward the cabinet or the state was keen we were very keen to release all uh, the raw materials from the ports uh, to push forward the manufacturing process from the 10th of um, January meaning last Tuesday 8.5 billion dollars of goods were already released from the ports the start of uh, the procedures and steps taken by the central bank on Thursday, uh, through these very few days, we released this huge number of raw materials. This is going uh, to be uh, such a, a very huge step to help the, uh, all the factories and all manufacturers to continue with their work, and this is going to um, achieve this balance uh, on the ground and because there are of course many um, economic crises and uh, we took into consideration all the complaints of the citizens regarding these uh, high prices the Egyptian state is working on supporting the industrial and agricultural sectors there were many complaints from the industrial sector regarding the uh, initiative of the central bank, uh, the 8% uh, initiative, uh, we sit with uh, the industrial and agricultural sector uh, businessmen and we agreed on a new initiative. We announced this initiative uh, in the past few days, equaling 150 billion Egyptian pounds annually. We are going to give full support to uh, those two sectors with 10 billion Egyptian pounds to serve all the industrial and 
agricultural sectors businessmen, particularly the small and medium projects who were who are uh, depending on uh, importing the raw materials now they had a problem and we in, we interfered to solve this problem there was only another presidential directive to support the Egyptian farmer and to increase this support in the coming period of time to encourage him to particularly regarding the uh, wheat crop in the coming uh, meeting of the cabinet this is go uh, the meeting is going to discuss more incentives to the egyptian uh, farmer who is cultivating wheat the, inshallah there is going to be um, some good news regarding the uh, price of uh, the uh, wheat uh, ton and uh, how it's going um, uh, to be sold two more points I'm going to add and to what extent the Egyptian state is uh, supporting the Egyptian citizen the whole world, of course, is suffering economic uh, crises. Uh, this is a global uh, crisis. Two important points I'm going to end my speech with. The state is going to continue with uh, supporting the basic commodities to the Egyptian citizen with our, the, in the best way ever. What we do bear, it's exceeding many of the efforts exerted even by developing by developed countries and developed governments regarding the price of bread of course before this crisis it's six, 65 piastres it, the bread uh, loaf cost 65 piastres and after this crisis, the Russian-Ukrainian crisis, and with the high prices, it costs now 80 piastres. 80 piastres. So, but till the moment, there is no, uh, no increase in its price. Today, after, after, the, uh, after the floating of um, the pound, it's 90 piastres. And of course, we did not increase its price. This is only a number, and this is only one issue. And this means that the state is going, we produce 100 billion leaves per year. This is exactly the number. 270 million, meaning daily, meaning we speak about 100 billion. With the 10 piastres increase, meaning 10 billion Egyptian pounds. But the citizens is not going to bear this. But uh, we as citizens would just ask what the state is doing for us. Maybe these are things which are not witnessed or noticed by uh, the citizen. Regarding the solar, for example, 11 pounds, this is the, the actual uh, price of the liter, but we sell it with 7.25 pounds, meaning that every liter uh, there are four pounds paid by the state. We, we consume 15 billion liters of solar. These numbers are huge numbers. And here I do speak about only two segments which witnessed challenges in the past few days regarding the price hikes in wheat and here we were not speaking only about the past few days but starting with the the, uh, the past year regarding from the start of the Ukrainian Russian crisis there were such huge increases 
And by this, you would be able to know what the state is bearing just to, to, to uh, control the price of bread and not to increase its uh, price and to reduce it to the citizen in the most affordable way and if I if I'm speak about if I'm going to speak about electricity I am here accompanied by Dr. Mohammed Shaker Marqabi Minister of Electricity and he would be able to say to what extent the state is bearing all uh, the uh, costs all the increase increases in and here I would again speak about the subsidies and the support by the state just to make sure that the citizen is not going to shoulder more responsibilities or to pay more for electricity and I call I call um, I call on every citizen just to, to take this into consideration. For example, if he is paying 300 pounds for electricity, he should know that the actual price is 1,000. Also, we are still taking care of the low income brackets, the medium income brackets. Once again, I'm very happy to be here in the Laish with all my colleagues. Happy New Year to all and thank you very much for, uh, for uh, letting us uh, having this speech or uh, press conference.